All right, so we are day one into not buying anything in October. All I'm gonna say is not buying stuff at the end of September. Well, it went kind of well, kind of not well. But I did sell some shoes, so I gotta box those off or shift those, what? Just whatever, watch the video. Another video talks with TJ, aka TJ Two Shoes Chains, Two Shoes Crew. What is going on? Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. It is the very first day of October, which means it's really feel like fall. But I don't know why in the Midwest the clingy X of summer won't go away, and it's really kind of hot out. But you know what? Temps will drop down to the 60s for a high of 60 for the day. So we're holding out hope for later that week. <laughs> But thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you're brand new here, you like what you see, just go ahead and hit the subscribe button. When you hit that, make sure you actually enter in the 5K giveaway that is below. We're doing pretty well on getting there. So there's a bet out that somebody thinks we'll make it there before end of October. We'll see. I don't know. We're growing at 500 or so a month or a little bit over. So, hey, we'll see what happens. But if you watched the video yesterday, not buying shoes outside of the Travis Scott Sixes this month. I know a lot of people don't have faith in me I don't have a whole lot of faith in myself but we're gonna try we are going to do this and today we are going to talk about you know when you have to really just start to ignore people when you're trying to do you you got to ignore the noise everything and this could be related to sneakers or life you're probably wondering why do I have this box in front of me as well so here are some random things that I just kind of wanted to go over that I did pick up on um, their kind of a compilation of like things that I got um, maybe like this month in sep September or last month in September. Wow, the fact when you change a month, it gets really hard to try to figure out what month that you're in. But I'm just gonna pick out, open up some things. I've been waiting on this one, excited about it. You guys know I like to support my other YouTubers, Snigger YouTubers. And the community so this is the feats and treats this is her logo guys so i absolutely love it so got this bad boy in you guys will definitely see me rocking it in some videos make sure you check her out you already know she's in atlanta which means she will be at atlanta sneaker con i'm sure she'll be on a panel make sure you guys go check her out to answer the question no i will not be there so i am terribly sorry if that hurts anyone's feelings it shouldn't break anyone's heart like i'm not someone that special to me at a sneaker con i'm just gonna be serious but hopefully you guys will tune in i'm sure if you are there go up meet her she'll be on a panel all of that but thank you feeds and treats so this was a pre-order that you guys could have did when she first got her merch out so like a good you know fellow creator <laughs> I did support, so we have this here. So guys, there's a lot more merch on her site. Just make sure that you check that out as well. She's got hoodies, she's got things related to Sneaker Queens, the podcast itself. So do yourself a favor, check that out. Also, if you remember the hoodie that I got uh, that was uh, from Foot Locker, I know, I buy a lot of hoodies. You're like, you expect us to remember which hoodie. Just bear with me, okay? A freaking hoodie that I got. <laughs> Uh, I got so we got the pants in in store, but these are actually in kids foot locker that we got the pants in So I decided to pick these up as well I got a kids extra large which will be about equivalent to a men's small But I love the stacked logo branding that Jordan did on this design right here So big ups to you Jordan brand because I am a really big fan So I think it's nice crisp clear bold and then on the bottom leg it does have that's upside down <laughs> It does have Air Jordan going down the leg. So I will be that person. You can flame me, probably looking like a mannequin in my whole suit. I don't care, quite frankly. And then it is baseball, well, not even baseball season, it's playoff baseball. That's what October, November means. And I had to cop some stance socks for my Yankee boys. So I'm excited to rock these with all things Yankee. So if you guys are not up on stance socks already, just make sure you do that. For all of your team needs, now I don't always go to stands itself, I'm gonna be real honest with y'all, I go to eBay. A lot of times you can still find them with the tags on and they cost less than what you would pay on the stand site. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to help y'all save some money, okay? We all balling on a budget over here. That being said, whenever you start to embark on anything that relates to self-improvement, awareness, 
try to remove yourself from some stuff you need to take a break from, I guarantee you people will have something to say. And a lot of times it isn't good fun, okay? It's gonna be in good fun. It's gonna be friends that will end just and with good humor, send you tons of pics of shoes knowing that you said you're not buying anything this month. All right, for all those on the journey with me this month, we know we're gonna get hit with that, right? We're gonna have people saying, did you see this shoe? Did you see that shoe? You see this pair? You copped in this pair? How come you're not getting this? I thought you said you like this. Why aren't you buying this? It's a whole lot of noise. You gotta ignore all of it. Now, I get that it's in good fun, but if you have set your sights on a certain goal, a lot of times it's just to prove it to yourself. It's, it has nothing to do with anyone else, but just understand you're going to have people say things now, in relation to sneakers, it's definitely not that big of a deal. But in relation to other things in life, and I'm going to say more serious things, and this isn't related to just any one person, but let's just say there's an individual who is trying to, I don't know, stop partying more, stop drinking more, um, really focus on their career, try to be more productive and proactive, be really aggressive in following their career goals, their fitness goals, their brand goals, whatever it could be. It may mean they stop associating with certain things, they stop associating with certain people, and I'm just warning you, you're gonna get some pushback if that does happen. You have to learn to ignore a lot of what is going on around you. Have selective hearing, observe everything, but still have selective hearing. You don't need to take in everything, you need to take everything though with really a grain of salt. Like who are these people ever to stop you from whatever it is that you're embarking on. That's not any shots at any of my friends that are clearly gonna try to make fun of me when it comes to not buying anything this month because they're like, man, you really always have something coming in. <laughs> Kinda do, okay? We all have our things. I don't drink coffee, I don't go out, I don't do a whole lot of things these other women do. I don't even wear makeup, okay? So that being said, finding deals on clothes and sneakers is really my thing, but that's something that I'm falling back on in October, but other people are try probably trying to either fall back or fall into some really good positive things for themselves as they end out the year. And I want you to know you can certainly accomplish those things, but it is going to take you probably ignoring a lot of the different things around you, regardless of what people are saying about you. you know, people are going to say a whole lot of things. My mom always said the same thing to me all the time. I don't care what people say to you. If they don't actually approach you face to face, physical, don't worry about what they have to say, okay? So you have to keep that in mind. You may have friends, you may have family that try to either downplay or talk against whatever you may have in your heart that you're ambitious about. Please just stay focused on it. Stay focused on it no matter what, okay? As I said in a previous video, there's always another pair of shoes as well, so that's one thing I am keeping in mind when it comes to not picking up stuff. You guys know, I, if you heard me talk about this, I'm trying to wear a lot of other stuff that I don't, I don't wear enough. So like my, my blacksmith fours, I'm trying to wear those more. There's a lot of other kicks that I'm trying to get more heavy in rotation versus just buying and buying and buying. So everybody that's going after that gym, they're calling it the gym red nine. I feel like we already use the gym red term. So gym red nine, Chicago nine, whatever you are calling it, Yes, it's a clean shoe. Yes, I do think it'll sell out. We'll talk more about that as we get through the week because I will show you guys that probably Thursday, I'm thinking. That's usually when I try to get that out for you guys. So we'll show that to you Thursday and we will just keep it pushing. So this is day one of all 31 days of not buying anything outside of the Travis Scott 6. And if I miss on those, it is what it is. Mm -hmm.